Most of the patients we treated, and we treated 43 patients, most of the patients we treated had received up to three prior hormonal therapy and up to three prior chemotherapy. So they were actually really being exposed to hormonal therapy for a while. And uh, the interesting findings of this trial, this Rinostat is an oral HDAC inhibitor that's approved for uh, cutaneous T-cell lymphomas, which is fairly well tolerated. And we were given this with tamoxifen in those patients who progressed on aromatase inhibitors. The patients uh, we treated had a 19% had a shrinkage of their tumor and another 21% stable disease over at least six months. And what we found is that when we looked at the patient set really carefully, we found that those patients who managed to show a response to the HDAC inhibitor by using a surrogate marker were much more likely to have a response. And only about 55% of the patient really had a molecular response to the HDAC inhibitor. So if we had enriched for this group, our responses would be probably even higher. So we, we now would like to take this forward in, in testing an HDAC inhibitor in combination with hormonal therapy in patients who are likely to acidulate, therefore having an intrinsic response to the HDAC inhibitor.